Hey guys, welcome to the other part of my vlog, Daily Devos with Daniel, okay? And if you don't know what Devos are, those are devotionals, okay? I'm doing daily devotionals. We're going to try my hardest to do daily devotionals here on this channel, upload every day, every single day. First off, let's start by, I just want to pray, open up our hearts for this time, and, you know, just jump right into the Word. So let's just go in prayer. So, Father, I just come to you today, uh, this beautiful day that you've provided for us. And, Father, I just say that uh, just open up our hearts and open up our minds to whatever you have for us in your word, in your truth that you, you blessed us with. Uh, Father, I just I pray all these things in your name, Lord. Amen. All right, guys. So, I decided to pull out something that, you know, I kind of did a little study on. And it's from Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. Love your enemies, okay? Your ancestors have also been taught, love your neighbors and hate the one who hates you. However, I say to you, love your enemy, bless the one who curses you, do something wonderful for the one who hates you, and respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. For that will reveal your identity as children of your heavenly Father. He is kind to all, by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh whether a person does what is good or evil. What reward do you deserve if you only love the lovable? Don't even the tax collectors do that. How are you any different from others if you limit your kindness only to your friends? Don't even the ungodly do that? Since you are children of a perfect father in heaven, you are to be perfect like him. Let's uh. That's kind of, uh, I kind of want to do it a different way than I usually do. Um, so, uh, I was provided one of these good bookmarks and it kind of goes on to understanding the Bible. So let's look at it is, uh, with the first question on this is, what do we learn about God? Okay, he's providing for everyone. He's providing for people who are good and for people who are evil, uh, no matter what. He's bringing the sunrise and rainfall to provide to help out for the people who love him and even hate him, the people who are evil and good. The sub, uh, sub questions, look for God's character. So his character is showing a loving character because uh, like I said, he's providing for the people who, you know, essentially love him and hate him, who do good and evil. So another subheading to this is look for God's concerns. What things, events, and people is he concerned about? So this is great because he's concerned about everyone at this moment right here. He says, love your neighbors and uh, hate the one who hates you. However, I say to you, love your enemy, bless the one who curses you, do something wonderful for the one who hates you, and respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. Uh, for this will reveal your identity as children of your heavenly father. So he's trying to reveal everyone. He's trying to get to everyone telling, I mean, pretty much this is a thing for everyone essentially because we, we all struggle with this, whether you're a believer or non-believer, we all struggle with loving our uh, enemy because, you know, especially when you're a, uh, a non-believer, it's going to not make sense to you to why should I do this? But when you're a believer and you read this section, you're gonna to have to start understanding that this actually will help. If you think about it this way, if someone sees you loving your enemy, and, and, and as it says, the best part right here is, uh, and respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. So when someone sees you doing that, it's like, wait, you're not gonna do what society thinks you should do lash out, get mad, you know, fight them. They're like, wait, you're, you're praying for me. You're showing kindness to me, but I just did this to you. But God provides for you no matter what. So why can't, why can't I show kindness? God shows kindness to the even ones that are evil. How come I can't? Well, I can because God wants us to. So uh, let's go to the next one, which is what do we learn about people? The sub things in this are look for aspects of what it means to be created in God's image. And so I want to pull back to the part where it says this will be your identity as children of your heavenly father. So showing the kindness will show your identity as being a child of God. I mean, we're all created in God. So that shows that we're, we're created in God, but your identity in God 
is as a child of God, and being a child of God is essentially showing what God does. That's showing your godliness, not just goodness, godliness. Uh, the, uh, I, I want to say the difference between goodness and godliness is like, goodness is like kind of like a worldly view. Uh, godliness is, of course, a godly view. And what, what would God do in this situation? Another subheading, uh, look for the fallen condition. The fallen condition, as I said before, is, you know, the ancestors told them to love your neighbors and to hate your enemies, which obviously now Jesus is like, whoa, 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 stop there. Why would you do that? You're supposed to show love to everyone, okay, no matter what, because God can do it, okay? Uh, and then look for how God's people should live. And as it says before, and constantly in this, is to love your enemy. Three says, what do we learn about relating to God? Uh, one of the things says, look for things you uh, to praise and thank God for. So I'm going to again read this section because this is good. He is kind to all by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh whether a person does what is good or evil. We can praise and thank God for that, okay? Because we are all born into sin. We're all sinners, okay? And essentially, a lot of us are lost, okay? But we can praise God that he still shows us kindness. We can thank God that he still shows us kindness, no matter if we are good or evil. So the last question says, what do we learn about relating to others? Uh, the subset, uh, sub thing says, look for how we should interact with and treat others. So this is a very easy question because we are to, as it says, as the heading, love your enemies. Now that uh, we got some of the questions down, I just want to go through each, uh, each verse by verse and kind of give a little input and a little, little, um, a little interpretation kind of in a way. So your ancestors have been also taught, love your neighbors and hate the one who hates you. Because, okay, so like I said, uh, they've been taught this way. And so it's Jesus is like, okay, hey, wait, wait. So, however, I say to you, love your enemy, bless the one who curses you, do something wonderful for the one who hates you, and respond to the very one who persecutes you by praying for them. That is something crazy to think about. He's saying, love the person who's going to hate you, okay? Okay, the person who's sitting there screaming at you, Bless them, you know, do something wonderful for the one that, you know, just can't, despises you, just, they just, bleh. and respond to the very ones who persecute you by praying for them. So, I mean, we don't really experience much uh, persecution nowadays as like they did before, but like, I mean, you can still very much use the praying for any of your enemies, any, any person that, you know, you essentially just can't, can't uh, you don't care for, you can still pray for them. I mean, I find myself praying for a lot of people, okay? And I pray for almost every single person I, I least put into prayer to so just pray over people in the world, okay? Because, you know, this world is full of corruption and all that, and I do want to essentially pray for them. For that will reveal your identity as children of your heavenly Father. He is kind to all by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh whether a person does what is good or evil. So like I said before, the best part in this is definitely your, it will reveal your identity as children of your heavenly father. This will show that, wow, this person actually is different. Something's up with this person. Why are they not doing the norm of retaliating? I want to know how to be this person. And it shows your identity in God. That's the best part. Okay, so the next one is, what reward do you deserve if you only love the lovable? Don't even the tax collectors do that. How are you any different from others if you limit your kindness only to your friends? Don't even the ungodly do that. Mm, excuse me. So essentially what is being said here is, how are you showing any difference from the world if you're doing what the world usually says to do? And essentially what I want to really focus on is you have believers and non-believers, ungodly and godly people, okay? So you have the ungodly people who are loving just the lovable, and what we should be doing, the godly people should be loving everyone, okay? And when you're not showing that, what are you looking like? Well, you're looking like the ungodly people, okay? That's, this is the separation right here is lo the lovable and then both the lovable and the unlovable, the so 
do you want to look like an ungodly person right now or do you want to look like a godly person? And don't do it because you just want to look like a godly person. Do it because it is in your heart and it is God's will to do it. Okay? Don't sit there and go, well, I guess I have to love them. No, actually love them. Actually show kindness to them. Actually pray for them when they are persecuting you. And so I want to jump into the last verse, which says, since you are children of a perfect father in heaven, you are to be perfect like him. Essentially, God is perfect. We all know that. God is perfect. God has a perfect will for our lives, for everyone's life. Okay? God is perfect. So we are called to be perfect like him. Him. And what does perfect like him look like? Well, we're going to jump back to this verse that I keep saying. He is kind to all by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh up whether a person does what is good or what is evil. Okay, That's what a perfect father does. He provides for everyone. He provides for the people who are good and evil. So we are called to be just like that. We are, we are called to essentially love everyone as the father loves everyone and so that's all i have for today i mean it's my first daily devotion here on this channel so it might get a little bit more in depth uh so it might just be different so uh but i just want to encourage everyone to just be in the word daily and if it just starts by just watching this and you know getting getting information from this and you know actually opening up their bible and reading it then that is a gain for god not for me I'm doing this for God. And so I just want to encourage you to just dive into your word, even if it starts by just watching this and, and follow, just following along. As, as long as you're, you're getting engaged in reading the Bible, that is a game for God. I just want to end this with a uh, prayer to you guys and a, a prayer essentially for, uh, you know, just our nation and just the world in general and all that's happening. So, uh, Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this day. I just want to praise you just for everything that you do. Uh, Father, I just thank you for your son, Jesus, for coming down, dying on the cross, so that one day we, through him, we can live in eternal life with you. Uh, Father, I pray for anyone right now who's just going through something, uh, anyone who is hurting, just, I just want to pray for people right now in general uh, just to have your loving and healing and caring hand over them around them I pray that you just open up your hearts and you, you, you help them realize that this is part of your will your perfect will um, Father I just pray for this nation I pray for this world Things are happening, but uh, but we need to take a stand, and we need to we need to really realize who you are and what you're doing, and you know, essentially just like I said today, just pray for the people who hurt us. You know, pray for our enemies. Uh, Father, I just pray that whenever I said. And whatever they, they read and whatever you open up to them in this little devotional, uh, I pray that you just open up to their hearts and put some wisdom in there about, about what I just read. But, Father, I just thank you and I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.